Terrence Howard, the actor from Hustle and Flow, revealed some metaphysical secrets years ago and nobody paid attention. I want you guys to know about a 6,000 year old secret called the Flower of Life. This symbol was found in the Temple of Osiris and it had been molecularly burned into the wall, saying whoever controlled that Flower of Life controlled the universe. Our DNA is made up of what? Five elements, right? They used to think that the body transferred or understood the energy information through electricity. They're finding out it's through frequency. So yeah, I'm in the process of building the harmonic wave resequencer with another doctor who has been able to successfully cure AIDS and cancer. You do not need to tear the human body apart when all you can do is use frequency to bring it back to its normal space. In less than uh, half a billion years, life will not be able to be sustained on this planet anymore. We have to become interstellar. And I might get shot about talking about this right now. What's up everybody, Esoteric Eddie here, namaste. This is a pretty trippy video. I never saw this Terrence Howard conversation or talk that he gave to the Oxford students and I never even knew that he was this freaking smart and tripped out man and he obviously knows a lot as you'll see here and I also did not know that he left Hollywood um, several years back or whatever and that he had a conspiracy against Hollywood and this is pretty cool because I've always liked him as an actor but yeah this first part here we're gonna see kind of a little bit about his uh his feelings towards Hollywood. Terrence Howard has decided to quit Hollywood for good. Terrence apparently believes that Hollywood is pushing an agenda to emasculate black men, and he claims that he was falsely accused of being difficult to work with just because he refused to play certain roles. Everything is androgynous, you know? The more successful men now are the effeminate. And then in another recent interview with Revolt, Terrence doubled down on his claims that Hollywood has an agenda against strong black men. The man has been demonized, Terrence said. With the new formula, most men are made to be effeminate and not have their power or sense of strength. They allow white men to be able to be strong, but when it's black men, it's seen as a threat. You said break into the business. How do you break into some? Because they don't want you in there. Everybody else wants that job. They're trying to keep you out. So you have to break into the business. How do you break into something? There's a little cunning involved in that. And there's a little violence involved in that aggression involved in breaking into something. So there's passion involved in that. You think it's a black eye, a bloody nose, you will lose your life in that game. You go in and you destroy them and you break into the business however you have to. And if you really commit to the characters, the character has a tendency of wanting to own you. They don't let go. Yeah, pretty weird stuff. He's talking about breaking in the business with aggression and you know, being violent, and he talks about actors having this disorder of, uh, you know, not being able to rid themselves of the characters they play, and these characters, these egos, take on their own form and pretty much possess them, you know, pretty strange, so luckily he got out of that. And so the beginning of his journey in revealing these metaphysical secrets to the public really began with this strange interview for the Emmys in which he just started to talk about the secrets of the universe. And so I'm going to play that right now. And then after that, I'm going to just let the video roll into uh, the main parts of the Oxford uh, conversation or talk that he gave to the students that were there which is pretty funny because they're all just sitting there probably just tripped out you can tell like he wasn't supposed to talk about any of that stuff that day they were probably just hoping to hear some stuff about acting and success or some random cliches like whatever you put your mind to you can do it but he just goes on there just fucking tripped out all psychedelic talking about the secrets of the universe and numbers and the bank and consciousness and all the stuff. It's wild, man. I'm surprised I never heard of this. So, uh, yeah, sit back, relax, and check it out. After you complete these 15 episodes of Empire, you got to walk away for a while or forever? For good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everyone keeps trying to tell me, don't say it's forever. But I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing when I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that 
you know, Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue, you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? You may think you've been here for 20 years on this planet, but we know that energy, it is forever. It doesn't die. It continually recycles itself. So you know that you've been a trilobite 350 million years ago or some part of it. So if we tap into those things in ourselves and remember those things in ourselves, we have that power. But the thing that I was most spiritually connected to that was my driving force was physics, wondering how the universe really came to be. And I fell in love with this thing called the flower of life. You guys know Da Vinci. I want you guys to know about a 6,000 year old secret. Mankind has been trying to decipher this one little thing called the flower of life. This symbol was found in the temple of Osiris and it had been molecularly burned into the wall saying whoever controlled that flower of life controlled the universe. There were secrets in that flower of life that da Vinci spent his whole life trying to uncover. They kept seeing this in a two-dimensional space. They couldn't get it out of this two-dimensional frame, and as a result, they got stuck in this plane. They were misled by something I think called a straight line. You guys believe in straight lines? You believe there's straight lines in the universe? All energy in the universe is expressed in what? It's in motion, expressed in vortices. All vortices are expressed in what? Waves. All this in-between space is filled with what? A void. There's nothing in the void. Well, I found that there is something in the void. The elementary fundamental particles that they've been searching for at the CERN Collider, the flower of life has been opened. I've spent 45 years searching these things out and trying to figure out what the universe really, how it really worked in less than uh, half a billion years, our planet will be out of the Goldilocks zone. So life will not be able to sus be sustained on this planet anymore. We have to become interstellar. They say that anything multiplied by one becomes that same number as itself. Well, the laws of physics has to break down in order for that to take place, action and reaction. The banks can say a dollar times a dollar is a dollar and give you that. Or the banks can say to a friend, a dollar times a dollar is a quarter times a quarter. It's four quarters times four quarters and give that person four dollars. So that money is generated. Do you think it's not happening in the banks? This is what one times one equaling one has got us. Our science has been stunted. You really want to know the truth? This may be crazier than, than the fiction. The truth is, I woke up inside my mother's womb at about six months of age, like boom. I woke up and I was like, oh God, I'm here. I'm here, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget, you know what I didn't want to forget? This flower of life. There's no sense of death. Everything goes to sleep and it wakes back up again. Because you can remember conscious moments in your life, can't you? You can remember moments when you're like, wait a minute, I'm in a bigger space than just this little body right here. You become fully aware of everything around you. And if you quiet yourself, you can think about those things. Well, apparently I did that at the last passage because when I came into this life, I woke up, remember, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. When I was six years old, I started making these pieces. I had been working on it perhaps from a past life. So I know that there's something to the consciousness of carrying things through. Our DNA is made up of what? Five elements, right? They used to think that the body transferred or understood the energy information through electricity. They're finding out it's through frequency. That's what proper physics gets you to. There's a particular song, a scale, in the genomes for each and every one of us. Now when that song is played, when your particular prime resonant frequency is played, your DNA celebrates and tightens. Everything else gets pushed out. Harmonic wave resequencing. So yeah, I am in the process of building the harmonic wave resequencer with another doctor who has been able to successfully cure AIDS and cancer. You do not need to tear the human body apart when all you can do is use frequency to bring it back to its normal space. The Titanic is headed to an iceberg over there with our numbers. If we don't make a change soon, we're gonna crash as a species because our math needs to work in order for our, our science and our future to develop. There are no other creatures that use currency in order to exist. Why is it that we chose this strange thing that isn't even real? Do you think the banks are abusing that? And I might get shot about talking about this right now, but I've got a book coming out called Does a Dollar Times a Dollar Equal a Dollar or Does a Dollar Times a Dollar Equal Two Dollars? Do you want to see the world in 2D or do you want to see it in 3D? I don't know why I said that. 